there are a couple more additional default keyboard shortcuts that we haven't yet reviewed. And those are these two shortcuts. And to be able to use those, we have to install additional new Vim plugin called Flash. We're also going to install this plugin by using Lazy Package Manager. Here is an example of the code that we have to add into our configuration file to install this plugin. So I'll basically copy the name of this plugin and paste it into this table that we are passing into setup method in the configuration file. So that next time we're going to launch VS Code, Lazy Package Manager is going to install all uninstalled plugins. Which in this case is only one plugin flash, because another one VS Code Multicursor is already installed. So I'm going to reload VS Code by using keyboard shortcut Ctrl R. As we can see, Lazy Package Manager has installed Flash. And now let's see if it works and try these keyboard shortcuts. The first one is MCS and if we're gonna press this sequence of keys, we'll end up in such mode where we can press any character. And all such characters that we have just pressed will be highlighted. And if I want to quickly highlight some of those characters, I just have to press key, which is shown highlighted in pink, right next to that letter L that I'd like to highlight. So for example, let's highlight letter L next to H and next to J letters. To do so, I only have to press H and J. And as we can see, highlighting was created. Let's also put highlight on the last letter L. I'll have to press Q in this case. And to quit this mode, we have to press Escape. Now that we have the highlighting to create multiple cursors, we only have to press MI. And as for the other keyboard shortcut, it works in the same way, but besides highlighting certain characters, we can highlight certain words. To enable this mode of highlighting by words, we have to press sequence of keys M, C, W. And now to highlight certain words, I'll have to press first letter of the word that I want to highlight. For example, let's say that I want to highlight words that start with letter C. So I'll press C, and as we can see now, I have an option to highlight all words that start with letter C. For example, let's highlight the word config. To do it, I need to press the character that is highlighted in pink right to the config word, which is G. And let's also highlight tag CR. For this, I'll have to press Q, as we can see. And there we go. Now to put multiple cursors on those highlighted regions, I'll have to press M, I, as always. Let's try it out one more time. So firstly, to activate highlighting by word, we need to press sequence of keys M, C, W. And then we have to specify the first letter of those words that we wish to highlight. For example, letter L. And by the way, to quickly toggle highlighting of the first match, we can press Enter. And by pressing Enter, the highlighting will be toggled. And in addition to the first word leader, I'm also going to highlight the third word leader by pressing G. And let's also highlight the last word left by pressing H. And just like that, we have put highlighting on the desired words. So now to enable multiple cursors, let's press M, A, or M, I. And the difference between MI and MA is that, that when pressing MI, the cursors will be added at the beginning of highlighted words, and by pressing MA, cursors will be created at the end of highlighted words. So in this lesson we have reviewed a couple of additional interesting ways how we can create multiple cursors. We can quickly create multiple cursors on certain characters as well as on certain words regardless of where cursor is positioned at the moment. And to make it work, we had to install additional new Vim plugin called Flash. Link to the repository with this configuration file will be in the video description.